Hey guys, this is Edgy here again. Last episode of me out in East Texas with my good, good buddy Chad. I'm gonna be going after some fish on the frog once again, catching some other ones that I wouldn't have extra expecting. Um, as you can probably see in the title, there's some sun, there's some green sunfish in this episode, and we're not catching them on little tiny white jigs like I did for the catfish. I'll catch you at the end. Not a bad one. Not a. Yeah, boy. You see this, Chad? I'm thinking probably two, two and a half. Two forty-three. All right, y'all. Two forty-three. Going back. Got to toss her a little bit of a ways, but she'll be fine. There she go. Yes. Probably still sitting there. Really? Oh yeah. Oh man, get out of there! Oh, that's a small one, but still. Another one? <laughs> Those are fat, bro. Dang. If one of those hits my frog, I'm gonna be amazed. Yeah, I got a little tiny bass. Like, look, your, your bluegill's like almost bigger than my bass. <laughs> Come on, you son of a gun. I know there's more. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God, dude. Look at this. It's a giant bluegill. Holy crap. Yeah, those line around here. That is crazy. Mm. Look at the size. Oh, look at the colors on them. I just said that earlier. I was like, maybe I might get a big bluegill in this. Oh my gosh. Like, you can like pretty much lip these. I feel like they're half bass, half bluegill almost. Oh, they got teeth on them too. It's a nice fatty. That's okay. Goodbye. Oh. Not to that time, boy. He's all of six inches, but hit it like a champ. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Nice little tiny. To that time, boy. That one's a little bit bigger. We're getting bigger now. There we go. Started at bluegill. Moving on to bass. Nice little one. Ugh. I probably shouldn't toss them like that, but. Huh? That little one was so <laughs> That's like right as it hit the water too. 
He's just coming in circling. He's barely hooked. Let's let it one again. Oh, I think I got one. Come on. That one's a little bit chunkier. It's a bunch of them sons of guns. For the little one. Little turd. That might be a bluegill again. Oh my gosh, I think it is. That's like a piranha. Oh my god. <laughs> Another fat bluegill, dude. Yeah. About nice one right there. Wow. That might be better. Maybe not. That's probably one of the bigger ones I've got out of here. Another little nice one. Another little tiny one. He won't take it now. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> I got him now. He hit it like four times. Oh, there we go. Little one that hit it like four times. He's a chunky little son of a gun too. Look at him. You are? Okay. There we go. That one, that one might be good. Well, maybe not. I think it's a bass. It's a better bass. Yeah, it's a better. It's probably my best. Best. No, maybe not. Nice little one. So yeah, that, um, that's what happened on our last day, catching a good couple of bass on frogs, as well as some good sized green sunfish. Now, they're not actually, they don't really look too green, um, but I googled them up, looked up the different uh, species of sunfish, and it turned out to be green sunfish. Um, if it is not actually, let me know, so uh, I could maybe correct something, possibly, maybe not, I don't know, we'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, just working a frog normally, and I guess that's what happens when fish are just that hungry and there's just not much going around. Like uh, as you saw in the second pond where I caught the sunfish on the frog, I actually catch a bunch of small bass as well. Um, nothing too big really. Uh, biggest thing was probably the sunfish honestly, not, not lengthwise but like girth and fattiness wise probably. They were of their, of their general size range that's probably on the high end for them. but. Uh, a lot of fun catching those little things on the frog. Uh, I was I wasn't expecting that of a regular, you know, uh, stro popping frog. I wouldn't think a sunfish that big would hit it, but uh, I was surprised that it actually happened. So uh, a lot of fun there. I hope y'all enjoy this whole East Texas series, um, a series of videos. Had a lot of fun out there. Hopefully I'll get to go up there again or in some other places down there eventually, because I could say it's a lot of fun down in East Texas going out bass fishing. So. Hope you all enjoyed all these videos. I'll catch y'all next time with Zachy Outdoors. Thank you very much.